What is up everybody? Today we are out on the kayak. We got our depth finder installed. We got some accessories installed. We are ready to catch fish. Last trip we came out here, tested it out. It was more of a testing the kayaks limits type trip uh, with a little bit of fishing. Today is strictly fishing. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna head out, uh, drop some jigs, got some you know half ounce jigs and we're gonna throw two primary baits. I only got one left in this pack. Uh, the Speed Shad by Bass Pro Shops and some Berkeley Gold. But stay tuned, I'm gonna get to the first spot and see what's happening. Hey guys, so today we're gonna get out here. We got our new depth finder installed. We got our new camera mount installed, new rod holder installed. Enough with, you know, trying to test this bad boy out. Now it's time to catch some fish. So pretty much what I'm gonna do, ooh, that's a mark right there. In fact, I'll stop on that. What I'm gonna be doing today, dropping our half ounce moon eye jig with a three inch uh, speed shad. That one I'm gonna dead stick. Now I'm gonna put that one, uh, you know, a foot or so above bottom. Reason being, I want to be suspended off the bottom so we're not dragging and grabbing anything. So that should be good right now. We're gonna set that in the rod holder. And in my other rod, or my other, in my other hand, I got our, our uh, famous fluke rig, somehow already tied up, uh, already messed up. Isn't that great when you start the trip with your line already messed up? Let me slide over a little bit. There we go. Whew. All right, just dropped her down. Oop. Oh, there we go, there we go, baby. Let's freaking go. Damn, damn, son. Whew. Whew. Trying to pull him away from the kayak. Whew. It's a decent, oh, nice striper. Get him out here. Oh yeah, look at this guy. He's going underneath. Uh, see if I can't get him out. Oh man, look at that chunk. Let me get the net. All right, man, moment of truth. Did we learn from our first ever trip where we were netting like we've never done it before? Let's see. Oh, got him. Let's freaking go, baby. Let's freaking go. Damn, son. First freaking striper of the day. Look at this. Freaking absolute chunk. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, easy. Now, oh man. We got ourselves a tournament board. Let's not lose the net. There we go. Let's see how big this bad boy is. Losing my net, losing my rod. All right, push. There we go. Let's see what this guy. Oh, easy, buddy, easy. All right, we got a nice little 24 and a half inch fish. All right, just dropped it back down. Both are back at the bottom. This one, oh, something looks like it's messing with it. Got him, let's go. Let's freaking go. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's go, still got him. Striper with a diaper, baby. This one we ain't netting. Woo wee. All right, let me uh, open the bail here for a second. Let me pedal away from anything. All right, let's see this bad boy. All right. Man, so far the speed shad has gotten both the fish, man. This one's a, a dink and a half, but still, you know, we're catching them, so 
It's always a great sign. Off he goes. Yeah, there's some fish down there, boy. That's like three fish right there on the screen. See if I can't get one to bite. And the beauty of this Pell Drive, man, I'm literally fishing two rods and trying to keep myself right in one spot. Got him, got him, baby. Oh, let's go. Another beautiful striped bass. Sun. All right, man, we got ourselves another rat, but I mean, they are beautiful fish, man. We're gonna get them back in the water. Off he goes, man. Let's try and catch some more. All right, just dropped them both back down. Just trying to keep a tight eye. Now we are drifting back, so the beauty of this dead stick is even though we're not jigging it right now, it's getting uh, motion just from sitting in the current and the paddle tail. Oh, oh, I just had a hit on the one on my right, but it dropped it. Um, the paddle tail does all the work, honestly. That's why when you're using it, casting and retrieving, man, the vibration from the ribs. Oh man, look at that. That just, that, that, that seagull just caught something, man. Look at that. That's crazy. See, he's got like a fish and it's wild, man. Small, whatever it is. Oh, look at that. That's not small. That's not small. Let's go. Damn, son. Damn. I'm over here watching seagulls catch fish, not paying attention. Whew. Damn. This definitely feels like a nicer fish. Definitely net worthy if we could get it up to the surface. Man. Damn. If this is one fish, now you gotta remember, I got a fluke rig on this. If this is one fish, it's gonna be a nice one. Oh yeah, it's one fish. Get the net. Oh, it's gonna be the awkward, oh, the awkward left-handed net job. Oh, got him. Son, whoo wee! Look at that. All right, man. Let's uh, get this bad boy out. What a freaking stud, man! Look at this pig. Oh, man. And go figure. Hit the Bass Pro Shop speed chat. Yeah. Damn! Look at that. That's a beautiful fish, man. Beautiful South Jersey striper. All right, man, we're gonna get this bad boy back in the water. Off he goes. Swimming. All right, man, just marked a pile of bait right there. I'm gonna try and, you know, I went just past it. I'm hoping that I could try and jig uh, our lures. Oop, get some of that grass off of that. Jig our lures right through it and see if we can't stand out amongst you know that school beat because there's definitely fish on the outskirts of it just kind of watching and waiting for i guess one of them to get in their line of sight so they could strike oh just had one hit and drop it damn Try and stay right on top of it. Damn, that was a good hit. It was like a thump. Got him that time, got him that time. And that, that's that pedal drive right there. That, that's what caught that fish. In that old kayak I had, oh man, one just, I don't know if you saw that, one just came up to the surface. Damn, that's awesome. That kayak caught that fish. If we, uh, if we didn't have the pedal drive to move us forward, we weren't getting them. Another beautiful 
striped bass. Let me try and turn this. Man, we have fish right under us right now. See, ooh, before I drop that down. Look at that. Hooked myself. I mean, this bait's kind of shot. I'm gonna try one more, one more time just in case. But like I was just saying, man, our other kayak, anyone that's not pedal drive, we, we wouldn't have been able to get back over that fish that we just dropped. And, you know, that's the beauty of these things, man. It's just like, I'll tell you, man, I'd love to meet the guy or woman who invented these because, you know, they made fishing a lot easier, you know? And what, what I like about this, everybody always says, well, you have a boat, why don't you fish your boat as much? Well, to be honest with you, the boat's a lot harder to, you know, it, oh, 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 oh. Got another one right here. Whoa. Let's go. Damn, son. Another striped bass. Let's get him in the boat. Woo-wee. Boy, we are on fire today. I'm telling you, man, today is our day, man. Look at this freaking, I mean, it's a striper with a diaper, but man, it is a beauty. Look at him, off he goes. Dude, I'll tell you, man, when you're hot, you're hot. But, uh, you know, like I said, man, we just, we're, we're keeping it simple. Going to the ledge, when we mark the ledge on the depth finder, dropping the bait down, and just trying to jig. Like, I'm marking fish right now, but, I, I don't want to turn into the guy who marks a fish and is like, ah, oh, I got to drop my line right there. Like, yes, is that great? But see, you got fish and you got a big pile of bait. What we've been doing, and it's been working pretty well, is getting past this big pile of bait, dropping straight down, and drifting right into the fish that are hanging. Because, like I said, the tide is pushing this way, and that is pushing the fish towards us. Or, I'm sorry, the bait towards the... Uh, stripers and we are literally naturally just walking right into their ambush man so my battery just died and i put my rod down and we literally had one hit dead stick Ooh. now that might be the smallest one of the day holy moly look at that that is a rat and a half but we are going to get him back in the water hopefully not do much minimal damage to him yep and off he goes i mean geez louise you know you're having a day when you know you're changing a battery and i look over and my rod just keeled over um i'll tell you what man i bought this rod holder because the last trip if you watched our last video if you didn't check it out it's right here but what I learned was I need some type of rod holder here. In fact, pardon me once again, another one to put up here because a few times I've had an awkward moment where, you know, I hooked into a fish on the left side and when I went to go put the rod down, I'm trying to like finagle it behind me. And, you know, in a case where I have like a decent sized fish, I don't want to be messing around, you know, trying to figure out how to get this you know rod in the holder without a losing it and b you know not losing the fish all right man we're starting to come back over that ledge starting to see a little more life it's funny how you can literally go from seeing nothing and then all of a sudden mark after mark Oh, oh, son. Damn, I'm, I thought I was gonna lose that rod overboard. Damn, that was an aggressive hit, man. Boy, what a beauty. What a freaking beauty. Let's get this guy back in the water. Man, that one hit like a freaking train, man. drop that one down turn the rudder a little bit check to make sure we didn't lose this rod behind us now I just saw something jump on the surface right ahead of me I'm gonna take a cast 
you know what I mean? And just do a quick retrieve and see if ooh, anything's uh, under that pile of bait that I'm seeing right ahead of me. Oh, son, hooked into something. Small. Dude, is that a blue fit? Oh my God, no, what? Bro, that was a freaking bunker. What? Caught in the mouth. That's wild. Dude, that is some freaking great bait, but unfortunately, I have no use for them and I'm not trying to stink up the new kayak. Well, that answers our question of what, uh, what's feeding on, or I'm sorry, what the stripers are feeding on. That's wild. I literally just casted that out right there. Never caught an Atlantic bunker on a on an actual hook like that before. That's kind of crazy. Damn, that is super wild. Hey, that's another uh, species to add to the list. For real, I think that might be the first one I've caught in my entire life that I didn't snag. You know, usually you, you see schools like that out in the ocean. You throw a weighted treble hook through it and just pull, you know yank it through and you know that's wild but we're gonna stop playing around with the bunker let me drop it back down see if i uh can't get something else all right man last drift of the day and i could see i dropped my bait right on top of a fish but so far no touch on it yet try and keep our kayak right on that spot now just kicking a little bit in the back get us right move right over it again all right there's that school fish again we're about to pass right over that ledge Hopefully I can get one of those three fish that we're marking to bite. Oh, got him. Got him on the dead stick. Let's go, man. We're ending the day with a fish. Not a big one. Whoa, but spunky. Spunk master right here, man. Woo wee! Sun. Ah, look at that, man. Last fish of the freaking day. 